Hey, I'm Seth Parker with Parker Systems, and we're here today. We're going to do a full customer install, everything from construction to the actual fiber installation inside the IT room of this building. Today, we've come out here to a new facility. They've contacted us. And the way we start our jobs is, we obviously get a contract. They want an internet service. We'll call in a dig ticket and come out here and do the construction. And what you're gonna see in this video is a lot of the construction process as we vac truck for utilities, we do the directional boring, and then we install the actual fiber optical cable from an existing box all the way into the building where they want all their IT. Parker Systems is uniquely positioned in that we are actually a C-Leg. We're a private company, but we're unique in that we do everything in-house. We are an internet provider, but we are also a construction company, which is unique. You don't usually see that. So we do everything in-house from the construction work to the blowing of the fiber, the splicing of the fiber. We have in-house data centers. So from a construction standpoint, the first thing that we're gonna do is check to make sure that all the utilities have actually been marked and marked properly. For example, today we had to get a locating company to come out and finish locating some of the existing utilities that are underground. And we have to do that so that while we're excavating, we don't hit them, or while we're directional boring, we don't hit them. That leads you right into starting the hydrovac process. You plan out your route that you're gonna bore or dig and you hydro excavate those spots. That way you can either go above or below them and if you're not able to find them, there are different rules. Speaking of the hydro excavation equipment, we did just recently put a video up about the vac truck and all of its great uses. At a facility like this, this is a large industrial complex with two existing companies here on this property and then they've just built this third warehouse here. A lot of times before they even build the buildings, they're gonna put infrastructure in, conduits usually, for telecommunication purposes. And so this morning what we were doing is actually intercepting the end of those conduits that way we can successfully get inside the building without having to do any more drilling in the side of the building or coming in aerial everything looks just as it should and we haven't messed with any of the landscaping or anything like that we have three drills today we use a vermeer 2022 basically a directional board and rig is a machine set up with a set number of rods, so in this case this drill has 40 rods, 10 foot long, which allows you to go 400 foot from where the drill is set up. The end of the drill has got a sawn in it, which talks to a locator. The guy holds the locator on the top of the ground, and that allows him to steer the drill head. The drill head's got a paddle on it, and that paddle has got a slight bend in the front of it. The sawn allows you to see a clock, and the clock tells you 12 all the way back to 12, and that allows you to steer. So 12 o'clock, you're gonna come up, six o'clock down, three o'clock right, nine o'clock left. And then all the numbers in between there, slight different variations of that. That's basically how a directional boring rig works. And once you pop out on the other side, whether you've gone set up on this side in the grass, go under a road, pop up, you hook your product back up to it and you pull your product back in. And now you've got an easy path to, to either blow or pull a cable in. Um, in this case, we're gonna uh, pull a, a little drop fiber, fiber optical cable through that duct. What we have to do to actually get this customer up and running is connect to our closest manhole or handhole in the ground where our nearest splice is. We're a commercial internet provider, so we do large businesses in this case and, and other you know, people like that that want the redundancy and the safety of it being in the ground. That way it reduces their downtime if there was ever to be a downtime. We're also unique in that we provide a service that is actually symmetrical. So if you run a speed test, your up and down is gonna be exactly the same. So you're gonna get what you pay for whenever you get a service with Parker Systems. When we do excavate or something, we excavate and then we do our work that we've gotta do, whether it's a tie-in or setting a box, and then we push the dirt back in around it, and we do it in lifts. So when you do it in a lift, you fill the dirt back in a foot at a time. When you put a foot of dirt in there, then you pack that down, put another foot until you're to the top. That allows it to not fall in, not sink in. That way, whenever you come back later, you don't have a sinkhole and the grass grows seamlessly through that like you were never there. Where we do dig with the Mini X, we come back and put grass seed and hay over it just to make the grass growing process a lot quicker. Once we do provide the internet and do get that fiber spliced inside the building, we also have a separate group of people that can come out and can actually do everything. So they'll come out and we'll pull Cat5, we can set access points, we can set up phones, we can do basically anything you need 
related to the Wi-Fi service inside your building, inside your facility, is an end-to-end -end thing to where you're actually getting Wi-Fi to your phone or to that piece of equipment or to that computer. So we do we do basically A to Z. Be on the lookout for a video there. If you got any questions, of course, like these old geezers like to say, just go ahead and leave a comment down there, subscribe, do all that fancy schmancy stuff that everybody thinks you got to say on here.